Harriet Ann Jacobs was born a slave in North Carolina in 1813. However, she only realized she was a slave at the age of six when her master died. Her master, Margaret Hornablow, owned Harriet until death, leaving Harriet in her will to her 11-year-old niece, Mary Norcom. Because of her niece's young age, Harriet became the slave of Dr. James Norcom, Mary's father. Dr. Norcom made repeated sexual advances towards Harriet, which she repeatedly denied. This made James increasingly angry as he developed an obsession with her. Upon asking Dr. Norcom if she could marry a free black man, he beat Harriet in response. The more she refused his demands, the more he wanted her. Norcom built a special cottage for her to separate them from his wife, who was becoming jealous of what she thought was a relationship between the two. Harriet, while striving to figure out ways for freedom, started an affair with a white male lawyer. She thought that having an affair with Samuel Treadwell Sawyer would aggravate Norcom enough to make him want to sell her. She hoped that Sawyer would buy her. Harriet ended up having two children with him, who by law belonged to Dr. Norcom. Harriet planned to have her children sold to their father. However, after repeated failed attempts of Sawyer trying to buy the two children, Harriet realized that she needed to escape. She thought if she ran away, Norcom would sell her kids to their father. In 1835, she sought refuge at her grandmother's house, confined to the crawl space in the attic. Eventually, Norcom sold the children to Sawyer. In 1842, Harriet decided it was time to leave the attic after hiding there for seven years. She escaped and headed north to find her children, who had been relocated after their father left to work as a member of the House of Representatives without emancipating them. Because her first slave owner taught her how to read and write, she was able to write an autobiography detailing her journey as a runaway slave. Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl, written by herself, was published in 1861 under the pseudonym Linda Brent. Many argue that her book is the most comprehensive slave narrative written by a woman. This book didn't pick up much traction until the 1960s during the Civil Rights Movement. Unfortunately, Harriet did not live to see the popularity and impact that her work had on people because she died on March 7, 1897 in Washington, D.C.